Would you rather have a full CSGO inventory or a Big Mac? They're both $5 and we're going to be taking a look at a $5 CSGO inventory today. Before I go over the skins, I want to talk about Skinport because they're actually pretty amazing and I reached out to them because I thought it was an amazing fit for today's video. They have up to 30% discount over the Steam market. They have zero buyer fees and just 12% selling fees where competitors have up to 15% seller fees. If you want to buy skins on the website, it's very easy to deposit in various depositing methods. And if you end up selling skins, you can easily withdraw your money directly to your bank account. The reason I wanted to work together with Skinport is because I genuinely think it's a good website and obviously it looks nice and is very easy to use. And on top of that, if you want to buy skins from the Steam market, go ahead and do so. But Skinport just offers you better pricing. Something they wanted me to mention is that they have a 4.9 out of 5 rating on Trustpilot. Starting off with the AK-47 Uncharted in a field tested condition. This is only 58 cents on the Steam market, but on Skinport, you can get this for only 40 cents. The skin isn't too special, but I thought it was better than a vanilla AK. I think the Uncharted is a very good option for under 60 cents. The next skin is for the Op, and I chose the Op Paw Field Tested, which is a dollar and 93 cents on the Steam market. But on Skinport, you're able to get this for only a dollar and 29 cents. The reason I chose this op is because the colors are still very flashy and in a field tested condition, it doesn't look too bad. And honestly, around this price range, this one just stood out to me the most. The skin I chose for the P90 is the P90 Facility Negative in a field tested condition. This is a skin I actually don't see that often. So first of all, that is a great addition. And what I also thought was pretty cool is that the top is blue and the bottom is kind of like gold grayish. And come on, man, this skin is only 39 cents on the Steam market. If you get it on Skinport, it's only 31 cents. The skin I chose for the M4A4 is the Magnesium in a field tested condition. In my $1 inventory video, I also chose the M4A4 Magnesium, but this one was in a battle scarred condition and it was only 16 cents. The field tested one is 30 cents on the Steam market and is only 20 cents on Skinport. I hope none of you watching play with the M4A1S, but the skin I chose for the M4A1S is the Boreal Forest in a field tested condition. This sells for 12 cents on the Steam market and only for 7 cents on Skinport. Yo, this skin might not be flashy, but for 12 cents and M4A1S, what else are you really going to get? On to the Glock 80. I chose the High Beam in a factory new condition. And this is also a skin I don't actually see that often. For its price of 38 cents on the Steam Market and 22 cents on Skinport, I actually think it's a pretty flashy skin for this low amount of money. Onto the CT sided pistol, I chose the USPS Flashback in a field tested condition. This is actually an expensive one because it is a dollar on the Steam Market and 76 cents on Skinport. Genuinely, for a dollar, this is a super clean USB. Actually, it's far from clean, it's super dirty, but I think it looks amazing for the price you're getting it for. I picked a very unique skin for the P2000 or P2K, whatever you want to call it. I chose the Panther Camo in a factory new condition. This is also at $1 on the Steam Market, and because this skin is actually quite rare, because first of all, it's P2K, and second of all, have you ever heard of the Panther Camo? I haven't. So this skin is not available on Skinport at the time of recording, but there were some recent sales at around 70 or 80 cents on there. But honestly, just play USPS. The last item for today's video is the Desert Eagle Blue Ply Field Tested. This is also the deagle that I included in my $1 inventory video as the main item. This one is 31 cents at a field tested condition on the Steam Market. Now this is only 21 cents on Skinport, so definitely a steal, one of the most unique Desert Eagles for this extremely low price. You can't go wrong with it and you can't complain. So that was it for the weapons you would actually play with. Now you obviously have a little bit of money left in your Steam wallet. What you can do with this is buy some random, very cheap skins for like a couple of cents a piece. Or what you could do is, I don't know, buy some stickers and put that on your weapon. What I suggest is buying some P250 Sand Dudes, cause why not? In all seriousness, if you take some time and you go ahead through the market and look for some items that have stickers on them, they might be a little bit more expensive, but the stickers add a lot of swag to your inventory. And this is part of a series. I started with $1, this was $5, I'll now go over to $10, then $25, then $50, and we'll see what crazy amount we get up to. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching.